So I first started reading Naomi Novik when she was writing Temeraire, which is her series that is set in an alternate history of the Napoleonic Wars, but with dragons. I had my issues with that particular series just because I think she kind of either ran out of steam or else she fell out of love with the series as she was writing it because it started out incredibly well. But then by the end of it, it was so abrupt and it had gone off in all these directions that made no sense. And to be honest, weren't really well executed either. Like the first book in the series is just perfect. The relationship that develops between the dragon and his rider is just one of the best things that I have ever read. And on the strength of that, I was just beginning to recommend that book and that series to other people when she started writing all these other books and I was just like, uh. So I have to say I was a little bit cautious about her when Uprooted came out, but I was seduced into it by the fact that it was a standalone novel. I've read quite a few criticisms of this book and um, I think there are two camps. There's one camp that adores this book and is positively evangelical about it. And then there's another section that just really hated and can't see what the big deal is. I'll be honest, like the reason why I like this book is why a lot of people didn't like this book. For one thing, this book uses a bunch of old tropes. So for example, you know, there's this person in a rural community and then one day something extraordinary happens and they realize that they hold the fate of the world in their hands. That's pretty much the oldest trope there is. But that's fine by me because I don't really read books for originality. I read them to see what people are doing with the same building blocks as everyone else and I've spoken about this before and I'm happy to restate my philosophy as many times as it takes for more people to get on board. So in this case, um, I can't pronounce her name properly but I think it's Agnieszka. That's how I've been saying it in my head anyway. But um, Agnieszka is this pretty unremarkable young farm girl and uh, she lives in this village where every few years this mysterious powerful wizard called the dragon shows up to select a young woman whom he takes away from them and um, she's never seen again by her family and friends. Nobody really knows what happens to these girls but you know in return for their sacrifice so to speak the dragon will take care of the village and um, keep the woods away. So the woods are this mysterious wooded land and the trees are basically out to kill people. It sounds really wild and crazy but you read it and she absolutely sells it so don't worry about that. Even the people who hated this book would admit that the woods were an element that absolutely worked. They have this sense of menace and sheer incomprehension about them that really works in the context of this novel. So one of the things that Novik does really well is that she uses our familiarity with the tropes of this novel to kind of play a mental jujitsu with us. So when you hear about a mysterious powerful wizard called the dragon and he takes young women off with him, you are conditioned to think about certain things and feel extremely uneasy. So you go on this journey with Agnieszka where she is discovering things about the dragon and about his purpose in life and why he selects these young women and why she was selected. And you build this emotional bridge with her immediately because you and she are in the same place. Clever, clever. I also really like the antagonist who is the Wood Queen. Um, you don't really know what her motivations are or why she's doing the things that she is, which makes her terrifying because you also don't know what the extent of her powers are because she's never come out into the open before so there's nobody in the novel who can tell you, oh these are the things that she can do, you know? And then you get to understand her motivations and you understand her history. And it's so relevant to the world that we live in today because it's the story of interracial love and it's the story of people demonizing and otherizing that which they don't understand. 
and how when you repeat slander about a certain community enough times it goes on to poison public opinion at a large scale and it leads people to take actions that will eventually come back to bite them in unexpected ways and it's also the story of a woman who feels hard done by by the larger society and it's about her using her rage to make herself feel better and then discover that you know peace is just as far away at the end as it was at the beginning and you really find yourself connecting or at least i found myself connecting with the wood queen and i think in a way agnieszka did as well and that's one of the most important bits of this novel because when it starts out you have this trope of the older wiser more experienced wizard and he takes on an apprentice and he's teaching the young apprentice the ways of the world and the wizarding world and magic and obviously we've seen this before with like male apprentices as well but you have to admit you know when it comes to an older man selecting this young teenage woman and then taking her away with him and then being like well why don't you do this all you need to do is apply yourself i mean he doesn't use those exact words but you know there's a lot of us women who have been in that situation with an older male colleague and it kind of makes your palms itch when you hear it but what the novel does is that it gives agnieszka a female mentor who isn't even alive and you kind of see the dragon recalibrate and adjust his thinking and i really enjoyed that there was also a thing about a lot of people being disappointed that the romance wasn't as deep as they would like and i think that's actually something that i've seen in novic novels you know in this and in spinning silver where you have this romance aspect but it's sort of glided over So if you're somebody who likes a ship then this might not be the novel for you but if you are somebody who likes to read about women doing amazing things and terrifying things then this is a whimsical kind of world that has been built with so much love and care and amazing prose things that you can go back and reread and is really such a pleasure For more videos please hit the subscribe button